Okay, so today I'm showing off this little guy right here. Not so little considering this back here. This is how he originally came. So you can see there's a slight difference in size here. I scaled this one up about 300% um, just because there's three um, models that I have that are sniper related and all three are from David Chef models and I absolutely love them. Um, this is the first one that I finished. You can see I've got another one back there that I'll be working on here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start it tonight or not. Um, anyway, but here's this first one. And I love the fact that this is the what, what drew, drew me to these. There's no stand for the vehicle. So if you look back here, the guy is the stand. And each one of these three pieces, the, the individual is the stand for the vehicle. And it's just an incredibly ingenious way of giving some type of um, floating aspect to the vehicle. I think it's just wicked. Uh, he's using the vehicle as a support, um, but he's, he's the support. It's, it's phenomenal. I love it. But anyway, I just finished this one up uh, a day ago, I think. Had a couple of small issues. I just touched some stuff. I had a whole bunch of, when I did the snow, I had a bunch down here. So I just touched it up a little bit and I've already varnished it. So there's like this little, you can kind of see it right there above my finger. It's where the, uh, you can see it right here. There's a huge, so all of the <clears throat> Star Wars bases come with this, like this, this square. So every Star Wars base has that square on it. And I tried filling it in with the snow effects, but the edges are kind of, were a little difficult to fill in. It kept shrinking back. There's still some more there. Got a little bit of dust on that. But overall, I'm really happy with this, how this turned out. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried weathering effects like this. Um, you can see some of the spots in here. Uh, I used one of these, one of these little things from Green Stuff World, a weathering stick. Um, this is actually the one I used too. So anyway, got a bunch of grime, a bunch of other stuff, um, some rust in there as well. Did a lot of dry brushing, a lot of thinning and uh, of paint and then washing it on there and wiping it off. So overall, I th I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it, it looks really good for me considering I, I'm a horrible painter, but anyway, there it is. And now that I look at this, I think I should have done some more with the back of this, but the good news is, um, Obviously, he'll, he'll be in this type of orientation on display. So, anyway, there we go. I'm really pumped about this one. This was the easy one, because the next two, um, I'm going to get freaking crazy. So, I'll give you a quick preview and scoot this out of the way a little bit. So, this one has, this guy is attached to this right here. So he's got a spot in his back. So he'll be attached there. And then he is using the bike. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, but there's an, an, two knobs, this one and this one. Let me try to get in here a little. There's a knob right there and one right there. That his feet hook into if I can do this one-handed. Come on, work with me a little bit. There you go. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. So, 
Once I glue him in place, now the bike is suspended in midair and no base. So he'll be sitting up there in, in his tree spot, getting ready to take a shot. Um, it also, the vehicle has a couple of saddlebags, um, which I'm not sure if that's the correct one or not. One or the other will be right there. So my plan with this one is I'm going to go nuts on this. I'm not just going to paint this. I'm going to gilly this shit out of this thing, which I have all that stuff there. So I'm going to make uh, a mock ghillie for him so he'll be wearing the ghillie i'm gonna use all this threading over here to make uh kind of a modified ghillie for him um probably use a bunch of this stuff back here as well so i've got a bunch of vine stuff i'm gonna use a lot of this on the tree to make it look kind of swampy slash uh foresty and then i've got a um, bunch of other stuff, which this entire stack of little packages, that is all for this project, and that's all terrain effects. So this thing's going to go nuts. So that being said, uh, that's the far, as much as I'm going to go now. I'll show you the third one real quick. It is right there you can kind of see how that one's going to end up being and again he's this the base for the vehicle so all of that is going to be resting on him so and i broke it so trying to get together anyway there we go so last little view i love this these are phenomenal models i love everything about them there we go. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Boo!